Welcome everybody to Wednesday's PGA Movers and Shakers for the AT&T Byron Nelson up here on a beautiful sunny Wednesday afternoon. As always, come join us if you're not with us now. Use the code SMASH20, get 20% off any package, including our weekly trials. You can also, any package you get comes with a free seven-day trial. So if you want to do it today, which is awesome, you'll get a free seven days all the way to next week for the PGA Championship. Then if you want to stay on, you can upgrade. You can keep the package you bought. Your discount remains intact no matter what you want to do there. So use the code SMASH20, get 20% off today, and come give us a try out. Let's get the listener league filled up. You guys did a good job yesterday. We're almost there. Uh, let's knock it out so we can have a monster big listener league next week for the PGA Championship. Pricing is already out, so I'm ready to get diving into that once we get the AT&T Byron Nelson locked up tomorrow morning. First, first place pays 1K this week, flat payout structures, limited rake. And if you're listening to this, top three get GC swag credits. If you DM me, that's only for our listeners. I do not post that out there. Smash 20 gets you 20% off any merchandise. If you are a premium member and you want to buy stuff, make sure you use our premium member code. If you don't know that, reach out to me and I will let you know. Our YouTube comment winners are Piney Creek and Michael Carter. You each get $50 in the GC store. Reach out to me and I'll get you your code. The iTunes rate and review, make sure you do that for us. I will be doing a big giveaway next week full of all kinds of DFS money, prizes, master's items. Um, huge giveaways next week. So make sure you, and I will. one of the winners will come from the rate and review alone. So we'll have a good winner from there. We get a bunch of them. I'll, I'll do multiple winners. I got a lot of stuff to give away. Uh, looking forward to that as well next week. Like us, like this video, subscribe to us on YouTube, leave in your comments, your early shock of the week pricing for PGA Championship. Give me one guy in the comments that when you scroll down that first release for the PGA Championship, you're like, wow, I think that's a steal. Um, and that'll get you into another drawing for next week as well. All right, updates on this week. For me, I think it's a, I had a battle a little bit uh, internally with my process in this week. Probably a little bit is the uh, beaten dog syndrome where I've tried to fade what's the clear chalk in these similar type tournaments before and it's bit me. So you're kind of like, I don't know if I want to do that again. But then as the week's gone on, I've gotten more comfortable with where I'm at. And I have enough spots that I'm purely going to probably full fade or, or be very close to it that I'm okay eating some chalk this week in with a planned attack. Um I like Bryson. I like Rom. I was trying to choose between them, and I was like, you know what? I'm not going to do that. I will choose one to be overweight on, and the other either be just under or to the field. It's okay to have. You don't have to always be overweight on all of them. I think both those guys could top five this and win it, and I'm okay fading a coming off COVID rusty speed. Um, I still have him high up there in the ownership. I'm, I am interested to see where he comes in in final ownership tomorrow, if people even care about that. I do, uh, similar to Matsu, um, you know, but he's, Matsu was going to be low on this week no matter what. So a little bit different situation there. Speed was going to be one of, if not the highest zone. Now we're like, all right, does that, I'm coming off COVID, you know, fatigue, all that kind of stuff. I just want to get my game going for next week type mentality, bring his ownership down. Don't know. I'm not, I put it down some, but not, not crazy. Um, you know, I like Brooks this week. I'm going to be on him some. But, again, he's going to be 10%. So I don't have to get crazy on him. I don't have to have 40% to have some Brooks. I think some people get caught up in that. I talk about that a lot with the premium members. Like, you can like a guy and, and just have 20%, 25%. You're way over the way of the field. You know, you don't have to get crazy with it. Um, I like the Willie Z's and Scheffler's. I'll just get different, you know, in spots. I, like the Doug Gim deal. I, I don't – I like him. He, he's rated high in my final rankings. I'm not going to eat a chalky Doug Gim who struggles putting, although I did say Ben's his best, which is true, but I'll go elsewhere. Like I'd rather have my ownership on the guys that I really like, like a Bryson Rom and fade at 7,500 Doug Gim. Um, Fitzpatrick's another guy. He's going to be up there in that 16 to 20% range. I'm okay fading him in this spot. And I'll pick two or three there um, to fade that allows my natural builds to be 
uh, differentiated there. So I'm okay with that. Moved up for me since Monday. Sam Burns, I think people are just saying he won't. We're on that deal of he won, so he can't play good again. I'm okay playing him at 9,300. Uh, I already talked about Brooks. He's moved up my rankings. I liked his presser this morning. He said I wouldn't be here if I, if I wasn't good enough to go. Nothing's changed. Um, much improved from the Masters, but still, he said I'm still not going to be 100%. Still can't you know get in the catcher position per se. Um, but he said he feels a lot better. I believe him. Um, he don't like. He said I hate missing cuts. So I. Is he here to win? I don't know. Uh, my mentality with him is he he's always teed up with the chance to win. Is there a fear of, oh, I'm plus two, or maybe he's minus one and the cut's looking at minus three? No, I mean, I think he'd have to be like plus one, plus two. And does he just say, ah, let's just get through Friday and, and head over to um, PJ Championship? I don't know. I, I don't think his mentality is like that. So I'm going to write it. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. It is what it is. Willie Z is a guy that um, he's a guy I'm going to have to get overweight on. I think he will be high owned. Everybody's seen the comments. He's played there a long time. We already knew that. Um, he's a Dallas kid. I, I, he's just moved up my ladder even more um, from Monday. Munoz is a guy that's moved up for me that typically gets talked up some. I don't. I don't think he really. Like I take Munoz a hundred dollars more than Gim at a third. I haven't had a third of the ownership right now. I'll take that all day and every day. So Munoz has moved up, and then Danny Lee, um, a Dallas guy. I know he's played this track uh, quite a bit. 2%. He's kind of my, we're struggling to find 6K guys. We just had McCumber withdraw literally minutes before I went on. I know Kenny Kim had him as cash um, game cornerstones. He did update that for our premium members. So you guys go check that out on the course preview. Um, so Danny Lee is a guy that I'll, I'll, if I'm dipping in the sixes, which I, I don't have many I want to go down to, but I do like Lee. Guys that have moved down or I'm going to fade or be very light on. I've mentioned Fitzpatrick. I mentioned Gim. Uh, Spieth, you know, if, if he really does truly come in at 18 to 22 percent, that's a spot. I can fade Gim and, and Spieth and I'm getting massive leverage and I can go overweight on the, the chalky Bryson, Rom, uh, Willie Z type, Scheffler type. So you can't play them all, though. You can't have those four plus Spieth plus Gim plus Fit. And then all of a sudden you're like, where are you getting leverage at? You're just going to spread yourself out too thin. I talk about that on E9 a lot. A little preview there. Um, Vegas. Don't know where he's going to come in at. He's been all over the, you know, kind of just tapping into the industry. I'm not going to play a chalky Vegas. Like, I have a percentage I'm willing to play Vegas. And if he winds up becoming stupid chalky, like 17% or something, then I'm underweight naturally. But I know where I want to be on him. And I'm, I may have some shares, but I just, if he comes in where some have him projected potentially, and, and my final ranking is already out and ownership's already put out there, then I'll be naturally underweight. Um, Hoagie is another one like that. You know, he's, he's, uh, creeping over double digits for me in ownership. Um, you know, I'm okay fading a guy like that and getting some leverage. And then Vincent Whaley, I, he, he's kind of a the the eye candy of the week this week, I guess. And he's been playing great, but he moved massively down when I started deep diving and looking at stuff I like to look at. I, I don't know if he'll do well on a scoring fest type course. Um, and, and he's going to be approaching that 9 to 11% as well. So those, those are guys that have moved down for me since Monday. Sleepers under the radar, I got Ben Martin, 4 to 5%. You know, followed his career well. I, I got to watch him play Benny on in the USAM at Southern Hills. Um, and just since I got to see him, I've always kind of kept an eye on him. He's not that not, not not done anything great, but I do like where he's trending right now. He got a 34th at Valero, an 11th last week. Um, those are hard courses, so there's a little bit, okay, what about a birdie fest? Can he get there? Don't know, but Bent is his best putting splits. He's 35th in the field on Bent, or 35th in the field on Bent Greens. I don't mind having some shares of him at 4%-ish. Lahiri, uh, I got him at 3%. He's a guy that's kind of um, maybe going under the radar a little bit. He's top 35 in my final rankings. I like him. Will Gordon, a guy I normally don't play because everybody's kind of on him. Um, you, you know, I got him around 3 to 5%, so I don't mind having some of him. Wesley Bryan, who I already talked about this week, he's going to be around 2%. Bryce Garnett, around 2%. And then Patrick Rogers, I have around 1% to 2%. All those guys are guys that I think you can put in your MME pools and get some leverage on the field. My leverage play of the week this week is going to be Jason Day. I'm going to have him around 5%, 8,900. I mean, and you can put him in two lineups if you're building, um, you know, 20 and you're double the field. So you don't have to get aggressive there, but I think he's shown enough that if he can, you know, find a hot putter, or do, you know, short game comes around, I don't mind having some of him at 8900 bucks. and makes my pool a little bit different than most. 
And then the final, my final five for one and done is Brooks, Berger, Willie Z, Champ, and Palmer. I will pick two of those five uh, for my pulls, and then the last one will come from maybe those five that can come from anywhere. I do that each and every week. I appreciate you guys. Remember, Smash 20, come check us out for a week. It's free. So you can just, you know, if you don't like it, cancel. You never get charged. Um, we've had a lot of people join this this last couple of weeks, so we've had a lot of great feedback from you guys. We have so much more on the horizon. I can't wait till the summer, and then we start rolling into football season as well. Hope you guys have a blessed week, and good luck this week. We'll talk to you later. Thanks.